Hello and welcome to another daily prompt video. This is our eighth prompt package because the next four prompts that you'll see in this video are all going to be short, um, very short, some of them. So I thought I'd compile them together to make another prompt package rather than making like a 20 second video. So the first prompt is a story it's based on the prompt, write a scene where a character confesses their unreturned love for another, and I've titled it Out Loud. He'd never been one to shy away from saying his feelings out loud, but that didn't stop him from hurting when he told him he still loved him, before being thrown the divorce papers. Then our second one is the prompt, when a person meets the love of their life, they unlock an extra sense. And I've titled this one, Becoming Aware. His skin was soft beneath my fingers. His hair smelled like roses in bloom. I could taste his aftershave in the air as I held him. I could see all the beautiful imperfections he couldn't see in himself. The sound of his nervous heartbeat flooded my ears as he leaned in closer. But as he placed his forehead against mine, I remembered. This was just a fleeting moment. This night would not last forever. And that's when I felt the presence of someone touching me from behind. That's when I became aware of the sentient universe, when I knew it was laughing at me. And the next one is based on a visual prompt, um, which is, which you can't see, but it is an image of a lake with a, um, with a pier on it. And the prompt is, the lake, write a crime mystery or horror story about what happened at this location. So the location is a lake, and I've titled it Sleeping with the Fish. Lakes are well known for the bodies that dwell in them, and the body is what I expected to find when I was called on to this case. Five years I've been doing this job, and never in this time had my boss had the audacity to call me up to deal with a couple holding a net full of stolen fish. Where they got the fish from, I don't know. But I'm telling you now, if they do this to me again, there will be a murder by this lake. And our final short story is a little longer. Um, it's a very strange one. Um, it's write a short, light-hearted story about a day in the office in a world where everyone is born with wings. And I've titled this one, Getting the Chirps. Good morning, Pauline. Did you bring the donuts? Pauline flew over to Cynthia, who nervously pruning her feathers. I sure did. I got you some extra worms too. How are you feeling about your meeting this afternoon? Cynthia looked across to the big nest, where she could see her boss typing away at her desk. I'm so scared. The big bird gives me the chirps. Pauline gave a sympathetic smile and placed the donut before her. Thank you. Cynthia smiled back. Hey, if we survive this meeting, why don't I take you out tonight? Just us. Cynthia blushed at the idea. She'd always wanted to ask Pauline out on a date. She always felt like it was the wrong time. Sure, Cynthia replied as Pauline flew off to greet the rest of her colleagues. The boss looked down at Cynthia from three feet in the air. Cynthia wasn't sure whether she should stay seated or hover up to meet her gaze. Cynthia, I have just one thing to say to you. Cynthia began pulling feathers out of her left wing. Congratulations, Cynthia looked up in shock as the boss floated down, extending her hand. I'm promoting you to floor manager. Cynthia couldn't believe her ears. Are you being serious? She blinked several times, making sure her eyes weren't full of sleepy dust. Yes, you are our hardest worker and you've been with us ten years now. You deserve a promotion. Oh, and I'm giving you and Polly the afternoon off, she winked. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much, Cynthia shook her boss's hand. And then she promoted me. Pauline's wings fluttered with excitement after hearing her friend's news. The bartender placed a water bowl and human feeder filled with seeds and nuts before them. I love nuts, don't you, Cynthia? Pauline asked. I love a lot of things. Realising how that sounded, Cynthia covered her face with her wings in embarrassment. Pauline laughed in hysterics. I think you've had too much excitement for one day. Come on, let's get you home so you can have a nice long bath. Cynthia uncovered her face and smiled. The pair got to leave the bar, giggling all the way to the door. So I hope you enjoyed that prompt package, and I will see you in the next one.